will need a dessert pot that's quite thick, a sharp knife, a toilet roll, a chopping board and a helpful grown-up. Hello, my name is Sarah and I have an experiment for you. Do you know where your heart is? It's just here. You can probably feel it beating. I can. But can you hear it? If you've ever been to the doctor to have your heart listened to, they'll have used something called a stethoscope, just like in this picture here. The tube goes from your heart up to the doctor's ears. And it's so good they can even hear your heart beating in a very busy, noisy hospital. Now the designs I've got for you are much more simple than that. The first one needs a dessert pot like this. And you're going to need a grown-up to make a hole in the end of it using a sharp knife. So you take this, place it on somebody's heart and then put your ear to the hole. And the pot collects the sounds of the heartbeat. And then when you put your ear to the hole, you can hear them. The other design I have is even more simple. It just uses a toilet roll. And the very first stethoscopes were just a wooden tube, a little bit like this. So if you place that on somebody's heart and put your ear to the end, then you'll be able to hear their heart beating. And both of these designs only work in really quiet places. They're not as good as a real stethoscope. So what do you think will happen to your heart if you're laying nice and calm and relaxed? Do you think it will be beating fast or slow? And what happens if you wave your arms around for 20 minutes? Will your heart be beating fast or slow? I think you need to experiment. And if you do, please share some photos and your information about your experiment with us on the hashtag sensory science. Thank you. Goodbye.